I thought everybody would buy from disabled people. So I said, why don't you all wear badges? Deaf, blind. One of the words was the word mental. Would you buy? Nobody buy. Everybody come and see the word mental, they walk away. So next day I told them, all take out. Sales pick up. Started, I realized a lot of people they don't pay people disabled proper. If I want to help these people, I must scale them. If I can train them, they must go out and earn proper money. A lot of people reject me. And they say it's not possible. Trying to train normal people to run a food court is really very tough. You're yeah, trying to get people with stroke, mental death to run it is even tougher. I have an office which I bought in 1997. I went to the bank and remortgaged it. So I raised 200000 to build the first version at Palestine Market. First year, second year, I lost a total of $700,000. I lost $1,000 a day. That was very stressed, very tough, very tough. You know, I got two sons studying. I was at five jobs at that time. I was teaching, I was mentoring. who told me that nobody will do what you do, you know? I lend it to you. I'm very blessed. Last year, 2018, the turnover is about 1.8 million, unaudited. Line. 80 to 90 percent of the profit is actually pumped back. Where do they go to? The lunch street for the elderly. Every student I take, they're paid $4.50 an hour. One day, $27. One child I take and trade is four to $6,000. Depends, it's eight weeks, nine weeks, ten weeks, whatever it is. Mother with challenged kids are very tough. And all the three shops are located in hospital. So because these kids are very special, anything happens, the doctors are there. Success is a satisfying state of the mind. Failure is when you stop trying. And I don't think I've stopped trying yet.